Hello and welcome back to Young Engineers Garage YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to look into more details on our autonomous robots. Like how do the autonomous robots knows about its surrounding? Like this line following robot. How it's able to sense the white line and follows it? Or this object kicker robot. How it's able to sense the object and kick them out of the way? Or this spy robot, like how it's able to follow the hand so perfectly. It's all because of sensors. So in today's video, we are going to explore sensors and their types. First thing we need to see, what is a sensor? So the sensor can be defined as an electronic device made to measure any certain physical parameter. So parameters such as Temperature, sound, humidity and distance can be measured with their respective sensors. Basically, sensor converts these measured parameters into corresponding electrical signals so that other electronic devices can easily understand them. The second thing we need to know is where these sensors are used. Sensors are generally used in many applications such as air conditioners, heaters, automobiles, etc where they are needed to be controlled or manipulated. But in robots, sensor acts as its sensory organs. Sensors provide essential input about the surroundings of the robot. It helps the robot to work accordingly. Next, let us see the types of sensors. Sensors are classified as digital sensors and analog sensors. Please note that this classification is only based on the type of input signals, not on the type of parameters they measure. Let's see each type in detail. Let us take the digital sensor first. These sensors provide input signals to robots in digital format. There's nothing to be confused in when you hear the word digital. Basically, the digital sensor converts the measured values in 0 volts and 5 volts. So, how it helps in sending the input to microcontroller. Remember, microcontrollers are brain of the robots. When the digital sensor sends the measured input to the microcontroller, it easily understands it because microcontroller itself is a digital device and can understand digital signals. It's like two people communicating with a common language. Most of the modern sensors are digital nowadays. Let us explore the analog sensors now. These sensors provide input to microcontroller in analog format. Let us understand what exactly happens in an analog sensor. Analog sensor converts the measured parameters into any voltage value from the range of 0 volts to 5 volts. What happens when analog sensors send such values to microcontroller? When analog sensor sends analog values to microcontroller, it cannot understand the analog signals because the microcontroller is a digital device. So, we use an analog to digital converter. It converts the analog signals into corresponding digital signals so that the microcontroller can understand the sensor's given input. So what actually happens in an ADC is that it converts the analog voltage into corresponding numbers. For example, a 10-bit ADC can convert the voltage values from 0 to 5 volts to the numbers 0 to 1023. Earlier microcontrollers needs to use the external ADC to communicate with analog sensors. But modern microcontrollers have inbuilt ADCs nowadays. We can enable the inbuilt ADCs with programming. We'll see the ADC programming in details in our future videos. And we'll use both analog sensors and digital sensors with our microcontroller to create many robotics and autonomous projects. So stay tuned with us for more. If you found the video informative, you can like it, share it and subscribe our channel for more such videos.